involved in coffee, I was born into coffee. So from the time that I could drink out of a bottle, my grandfather was filling my milk bottle with coffee. So I learned about, and that is a true story. So six years ago, I decided I would qualify as an accredited barista judge, a writer, um, traveled the world for world barista development and came back to Australia. And I decided that I would um, write, some up, write some of the worst, first workshops and um, start accrediting baristas and start recruiting um, barista competitors to compete in Melbourne's um, first national competition. We have one of the um, largest and fastest growing micro roasting um, coffee cultures as well, where coffee is being experimented with. So with, there is a, an actual science to coffee. So when we go through the whole roasting process, there's a metamorphosis of the bean. So in that metamorphosis of the bean, there's a, a creation, a chemical reaction within that bean. We're now looking at things like siphoning coffee, um, uh, having co coffee through various filter services. Um, we have various clover machines throughout Melbourne and at what temperatures and what length we can actually roast them to and serve them to the customers in various brewing methods. Melbourne's cafe culture is unique because we have a melting pot of cultures. So once upon a time, our blends of coffee were Brazil, Colombian, and perhaps some PNG within it. Melbournians, 85% of the population drinks coffee. 85% of us drink of that a milk-based coffee. The CBD is growing in espresso drinking, macchiato, uh, piccolo, so we have a menu that is very unique. We don't just have a standard espresso menu. So one in three of us actually drinks coffee. Coffee tourism will certainly grow. Um, our figures are showing that more and more people are coming to Melbourne because of its cafe culture. So as the world population, a billion people in the world drink coffee, that is rising and we know that because 38 million bags of coffee are exported from Brazil. Every year that, that grows by another 2 million bags. So the world demand is great. In the next five years there will be a coffee crisis in the world. We won't be able to get the coffee that we want. The focus will be on Australia. We have people arriving here from Europe learning about roasting. So people are coming to Australia to meet with roasters. We have, in, as, as far as recently, people wanting to come from Italy to exhibit coffee machines, to work with our baristas, to work in our cafes. We've, got, we've had the highest percentage increase this year of Italians, young Italians, coming to work in cafes in, in Australia.